example, people think, oh, love is within, love is, no, love is a faith. Love is something you share. Mm -hmm. It's a group journey. It's something you, you do as a unit. So when you're just now focused on you, yeah, you can be in a, in, a, in, a, in a house, in a room, working on you. Like that, that that's, the, that's the cliche thing. Like I'm working on me. Mm -hmm. How do you work on you when you have a great understanding of who you are and then you introduce yourself to somebody and once we merge, we play different roles. Yeah. So you can't just say it's you because you are a mother in this instance, you're a friend in this instance, mm -hmm. you're... So your roles is so many different roles. You have to have an understanding of your core values. You have to have an understanding of there's things no matter what role you're playing. That's who you are. So you have to have self-understanding and self-awareness. Home of the love snobs, love snobs, love snobs. I was just talking to a co-worker about how, you know, I've grown over the years and the more emotionally intelligent I become, the less I am to use my emotions as a weapon. And how I don't allow my emotions to make taught me make major decisions. I have principles in place, I have beliefs in place, and that really helps me dictate how I'm gonna act, what I'm gonna do, who I'm gonna do it with. But in the past, you know, you we all we all get caught up in the feeling of everything because we like to feel good, right? So we allow that to help us make all these decisions and some of them bad, some of them are good, but you when I've learned over the years by being one to my emotions that it's really the principles that kind of help me navigate through life. It's the principles that allow me to get up every day out of bed when I'm tired and I don't want to be bothered or I don't want to deal with things because I also have connections with other people and I have responsibility. So, you know, if I, if I allow my emotions to allow me to dictate how I deal with things, then I'm never going to show up, right? Because every day we wake up feeling different. But when you have certain things in place or, or in line, to help you make those decisions, then you usually make the right decisions. So I was just telling a coworker of mine that I just, that really just recently resonated by working on Accountable Love, by doing Love as a Group Journey, by, you know, having clients and talking to other people and helping other people through their stuff. It made me realize how emotions waver and we really can't rely on them to make the best decisions. We sit and talk about, you know, abuse and I see a lot of people looking at the aggressors as the abusers, but we always talk about the new abusers, passive aggressors. Like, people believe because they are not saying anything, but because they're doing somebody else a favor, or they're being kind by not mentioning certain things that they're actually not abusing that person. I think we all, when dealing with relationships, we all need to understand what's going on with the other person. We shouldn't have to guess. And, when you're not saying something, or you're not willing to have the hard discussions, or you're not willing to be honest in relationships, you're not doing anybody a solid. And when you're passive aggressive, it comes off as condescending. It comes off as you're hiding something, or you got something above somebody else. So really, it's the aggressors that actually put their, you know, put their emotions out there, actually, you know, honor their principles, actually are willing to have the hard discussions. Because if we're not willing to have the hard discussions, what's the point of being in relationships? This is your personal relationships. This is your personal journey. This is connecting with other people that actually, you know, are like-minded and same party. Like, you pick them out of billions of people. So you really have to sit back and think about, are you the passive aggressive type? Are you the one that's constantly abusing your partner by acting like, you know, you're timid or you're uncomfortable? You're in discomfort or disarray every time you mention something because really no matter how it comes out, it starts the dialogue no matter what. So I would say the person starting the dialogue is a person that's more invested in the relationship. The person that doesn't start the dialogue, that doesn't entertain the dialogue, I would say that they start the abuse and then the trick is over if the person takes the bait and so on and so forth. So we gotta start not just looking at abuse as somebody who's the aggressive, but start looking at intimate people as being abusive as well because they gotta stand their ground and they have to show their work within the relationship as well. Somebody should do it for them. They have to do it for self. So, you know, accountable love is really talking about how everybody's accountable for maintaining the relationship. Everybody's accountable for investing in the relationship. So when you're not invested, you are actually taking from the relationship. And when you're passive aggressive or someone who's intelligent, you're actually abusing them and making them feel unworthy as well. And we deal with feelings a lot, but, you know, 
when it comes to kindness, I think being kind is actually starting a dialogue and having tough discussions to actually excel in our relationships. I was saying that it's really important for people to see, you know, the relationship that we do have, although at times things could be uncomfortable, you know, to just be on camera to put things out there, but it's really important for people to see it because it goes beyond the parent-child, um, the two people in a relationship, in a romantic relationship. Friends can also be held to a certain standard. Everyone should be held to the standard that they signed up for. You are creating, and unlike the family members that you were born into, you're creating a family, you're, you're handpicking your family basically.